the NMI's physical health seemingly at a point of no return. This is going to come back to bite us. Delegate Gregorio Sablon speaking at the Saipan Chamber of Commerce meeting, confirming that the fiscal disaster and foreign workforce issues will be especially difficult to remedy from Congress due to the new GOP majority and geopolitics. When HR 560, when I have to pick it up the calendar, the reason I was given by that member who's starting asking his colleagues to vote no, and I needed 280 votes to pass, was that there's the Chinese in the Marianas are national security concern. But I know, I knew that those are the bad apples, that for the most part, those people are just no longer part of our community, right? The bill offered CNMI only permanent status to 1,600 long term foreign workers in the Commonwealth since 2015, the problem compounded by deficit spending by the previous administration. CNMI Senate President Edith DeLeon Guerrero also taking the stage, revealing fiscal year 2020 data showing that the NMI has a $480 million net deficit, infrastructure has just 28% of useful life remaining, and that for every dollar of the island's own assets, the government owes twice as much to others. We should be worried. We should have minimized questionable cost when we are managing grants. How can we fix the government once and for all so that we can all have a better life. Why is it that continuously we have more than 60% of our people living in poverty? Who, who does that? It's a systemic issue. She says these issues highlight the need for a government hired economist. The senator also sharing that revenue enforcement is critical after she found that there's at least $24 million of uncollected taxes from retailers taking food stamps. Should we be bankrupt today? I don't think so. I don't think so. If only we put more teeth into enforcement. Tomas Maglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.